I'm not going to hold you long. Um, I just wanted to come and say a few things about the ballerina farm um, as it pertains to um, influencers and how we perceive their lifestyle. The housewife aesthetic um, isn't anything new. As long as social media has been around, there have been women who would come online and share parts of their lives. And um, most content is, you know, two sides of a coin. You're going to have those who wanted to show this boss chick aesthetic. And then you had those who were showing you um, what it's like being a stay-at-home mom. And the things that come along with it, via via if it's good or bad. But then this trad or traditional housewife um, influencer aesthetic came into play, and it's something that a lot of women aspire to be who are married and have children. So a lot of women, you know. They want to have it all. They wanna. They wanna find out how do how do I accomplish this? How do I have it all? If I'm a stay at home mom, how do I, you know, get to this status like of everything always being put together and the children doing, you know, all these activities and. But the content went from. You just seeing these women, you know, all put together and doing the traditional wife thing, making it look so easy. It went from that to that um, had started to be produced, started to be just beyond what anybody without a whole team and staff um, would be able to acquire. And of course, it's content. So we're just consuming it as a form of entertainment. And we literally have to think of it like that. So I guess I'm surprised at, you know, all of the um, the takes on the Ballerina um, Farm article because I think at some point people needed to come to the realization that it's not ever as it seems. For those women who dream of living on a farm and having the big... And having the stocky, burly, rich, billionaire husband and having all these children yeah. and they are beautiful and all these nice things in the home. And it has this um, country farm theme. You have to realize it comes at a price. I think the article itself, I can see why people think it's sad, but it's real and it's the truth. And she literally gives a glimpse into what being a trad wife with influence and money is. Now, the traditional wives that are at home that are middle class and upper middle class, that's totally different. We are talking about the people who use their influence to make money or they have this, you know, they're tied to family that have that has a lot of money and she is both right now and then if you add in the religious aspect of it which i'm not really going to go in detail because if we're all honest most of our religions if we are a part of one has that same aspect as the man is the head of the household we fall in the gender roles women are supposed to have children and rear them and the man is supposed to make the money and god is first right so there shouldn't be too much on the religion because most of our religions have that background. Now, does everybody, um, you know, take it as serious? Maybe not. You know, it may be a little watered down, uh, depending on who you are. But to say that we don't all have that when it comes to religion in, uh, in many facets wouldn't be true. That's why I'm still a little shocked at, like, why people feel the way they feel. Because anytime a man has 
the money, he has the power. And though she is making her own money as far as being an influence, he has made sure that he is tied into that and that he has the control of it. I've also seen people saying, like, why didn't she leave? If you really think about it, she has a lot of children. <laughs> um, her money is tied up. And to be honest, if she that's her background, like, that's how she was raised. That's how the women around her are. She doesn't see anything wrong with it. She might not be as happy with the situation right now, but I don't think she... Well, I don't know what she will do, but I'm just saying that to for the people who are saying why she um, hasn't gotten up and, and left. I mean, let's just be real. There are women, no matter how much money you have, your, your money is tied up or um, she may actually really love her husband. So we don't really know any of that stuff. I just think that I think she gave a really good glimpse into what it is. Um, with the influencer trad wife things, this is how it is. And with the, I'm just gonna wrap it up in a bow. For all the people, all the women who, little girl, ever whoever, all the people who are infatuated with the trad wives and the things they do and how fascinated they are. This, she gave you a background view a back behind the scenes view of what it truly and really is. So I don't understand why people are so confused and so hurt because honey, anytime the man is in control of your money, he is going to be able to control you. And that goes across all the boards. Okay.